Hello, my name is Tira, I'm an eco-artist, and this will be Paint With Me Lemon Patreon Prompt. You will be painting along with me as we paint a lemon. So to start off with, let's go through the materials list. First, you're going to need a Sharpie thin pen, pencil and eraser, masking tape, a round brush, a watercolor paper, red, green, yellow, and blue watercolors, water, and a mixing plate. Alright, next up, the pencil sketch. So here you're going to outline a large shape portion of where you want things to generally be once you get the outline of it, and you'll actually go in to add a little bit more details. But first, figure out where it is that you want your shapes to look like on the page as relative to other shapes, whether it be a leaf, maybe you've got some background going on, maybe there's a jar next to a limb, maybe it's split in half. Whatever you decide, make sure you get the big picture done first because it's much easier to go through with the little picture. Just a friendly reminder for when you are erasing, don't use your fingers to move the eraser shavings. You actually want to use either a brush or some type of paper to remove it because we have oils on our skin. Uh, this next part is the pen outline, so because I went through with the details and now I am finished, I know exactly how I want it to look, I'm going to go in with the micro pen or the sharpie pen, and this is where you will see me outline every little bit that I want to um, have a clear design to, as well as any of the smaller details. Now that everything has been outlined, I'm going back through my eraser and I am going to erase any and all pencil markings that I have put onto the page. And just again, make sure you use your brush or something else besides your hands in order to clear away uh, the eraser shavings. I had read somewhere that you could use masking tape to pick it up. I decided I was going to try it and it didn't actually work out very well. So I just went, grabbed a bigger brush, and I used that to get the rest of the shavings off. <laughs> Now that's settled, let's go ahead and start with the background wash. So first I'm going to put a light layer of water. Now since this painting is a little bit bigger, I have to be mindful that the water is going to dry faster than I can apply paint. So I start with just little sections, um, try not to make a clear, this is a uh, brush stroke section because it makes it harder to blend later. So as you will see, I'm just making sure to add water as it dries out and continue to add paint throughout the background. Now let's add another color to our backwash. I realized pretty quickly I actually wanted to do a combination color. So I wanted to mix the Viridian and the Ultramarine in order to get a kind of uh, dark, musky, kind of green color that I'm going for to go around the edges to make sure that I bring it much darker and to add a little bit more of a contrast to when I add the yellow for the lemon.
now it's time for the subject itself. I am going to go in and start with the leaves and then I will, then I will work my way towards the lemon. While that's drawing, I decide, you know what, let's go straight for the lemon. Right about here, I make a fatal mistake. Oh no! Um, it's actually not that bad. But I did accidentally have my colors run into each other, which then changed how it looked. So just a uh, word of advice, if you do something like this, let it dry, and then you will put a little tiny wash over it, uh, just of water, and then you'll add a little bit more color to try to blend it out. And that is how you can fix it if you accidentally um, blend your colors together. Once I let that dry, then I actually go back through and I go ahead and add some more yellow for my lemon and I continue painting. Now that we have quite a few of our main um, washes on, I wanted to go through and add a little more detail. Um, lemons are not a smooth surface, so I'm adding just a little bit of a technique called stippling here, which is where you take your brush and you add little bits of dots. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect or anything, you just go through to add that little bit of texture. Now for my favorite part, the unmasking. So here you just want to be careful. Um, I will show you in just a minute. Um, depending on what type of tape that you use, you want to go very slowly. Otherwise you'll have this little mistake happen right here. Ah! Add a little bit of the watercolor paper wanting to come off, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. I will um, go back through it with a little bit of blue and a little bit of green just to kind of blend it back into the painting itself while being careful. Otherwise, you continue to um, unmask the rest of it, and yeah, take your time. Enjoy. Ah, yes, the final last edge, and look at this. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm very satisfied with this painting. The um, next thing that you want to do is make sure you sign your painting. Now I did sign at the very bottom here um, where I usually sign my artwork, but I realized later that you couldn't really see it. And when I put my mat over it later, um, I still couldn't see it. So I did end up adding another signature near the lemon itself. But overall, I'm very proud of this. I don't think my camera does it quite justice. Um, 
but that's okay because this was just a fun little Patreon prompt that I got to do and I had a good time. Thank you very much and have a great day.